All right, welcome to lab six. In this lab, we're going to take what we learned in the previous lab, lab five on standard candles and use it to resolve the issues of the great debate of 1920 between Harlow Shapley and Heber Curtis. They were debating our place in the universe in two parts. In the first part, they're trying to figure out the solar system's place in the Milky Way galaxy. Are we at the center of the galaxy or do we live off in the outskirts? In the second part of the debate, they're trying to figure out the Milky Way galaxy's place in the universe. Is it the primary galaxy in the universe and all the others are little ones distributed about us? Or are we but one of many similarly sized galaxies out there in the cosmos? To resolve these questions, we're going to use standard candles. We're gonna start by using RR Lyrae stars in globular clusters distributed around our galaxy. We're going to measure this distribution and in doing so, we'll figure out our distance from the center of this distribution and hence from the center of our galaxy. At the same time, we'll figure out the size of this distribution and hence the diameter of our Milky Way galaxy. Then we're going to use Cepheid variable stars in nearby galaxies to figure out the distances to them and hence their sizes, their diameters, and determine if our Milky Way galaxy is comparable to them or bigger or smaller. Now, before you do all this, you'll probably want to put your observations in for lab seven. In lab seven, you're going to use our giant radio telescope, a 20 meter diameter dish in West Virginia, six stories tall, 150 tons, and you get to move it around. And the instructions for doing this are in lab seven, procedure section A. And your observations will probably come back pretty quickly. This telescope can work day and night, but it's our only radio telescope. So if it goes down for maintenance, it can be down for a few days. Because of that, you'll wanna put your observations in right away to make sure you get them back in time before beginning lab seven. Okay, that's it for this video.